A few weeks ago, we took these out for their first run, the New Balance Fresh Foam X More Trail V3s. And it has to be one of the most cushioned running shoes I've ever run in, and that's including road shoes. This midsole really is like having two very bouncy trampolines under your feet. And it was actually a really popular video on the channel. And the viewers' opinions were very divided. I'd say 50-50, some thinking that this deep level of cushioning was a great idea and others completely completely against it. As far as my opinion goes, uh, I'm really not convinced I need this level of cushioning in my trail running shoes. However, I did feel it performed really well on the flat, compacted trails that I ran on. And I also thought it'd make a good shoe for long races, say uh, 100K plus, that are on towpaths, gravel trails, and long sections of tarmac. So in today's video, I'm gonna be lacing them up again, and we are taking them out for a long run, and we're bringing you guys along for the ride. Okay, so we've headed up to the North Cliffs here in Cornwall for today's long run test. We've come up here because I think this will be the perfect route to test out the Moor Trail V3s. Flat trails, nice and compacted, and I think that's where this shoe will excel. However, I didn't think it'd excel driving the adventure bus up here with all this cushioning in the midsole. I don't think I'd have felt the pedals, so I put a different pair of shoes on just to be on the safe side. We're gonna try and get in half marathon, 15 miles on today's run. Uh, see how the legs feel. I've done quite a lot of running this week already, so I don't want to overdo it because things are heading in the right direction. So let's get these bad boys on our feet. Let's get out on the trails. You could probably see from the footage as we drove up here, there was beautiful blue sky and sunshine. Now look at it behind me. That's the sea there. You can't see it, but it is there. That old sea mist has pushed in over the North Cliffs. This is how quick the weather can change down here in Cornwall. <laughs> Crazy. Well, there you go. If you ever wanted a reason to get out on the trails, get out in nature, I've just seen it. Not only have we got stunning views, but I've just seen mummy duck with her little babies out for a walk on the ghost bar. So cute, man. It was worth coming out here just for that. Okay, so that is four miles ticked off pretty quick. Hopefully, you can still see me because the sea mist is super heavy now, but I'd forgotten how bouncy, how cushioned that fresh foam X is in this midsole, especially coming along here on those hard compacted trails, super bouncy. I'll say it again, you know, if I was doing a flat long race, say something like the Grand Union Canal Race along a towpath with long sections of tarmac, I think this shoe would be brilliant for a race like that. But we're heading uh, towards Bassett's, I'm not gonna go in the dips. If you've ever seen any of our other content in the dips, we do a lot of training out there. There's some steep descents, some steep climbs, big steps. I, I've gotta be honest, I just wouldn't feel that confident in this shoe out on that terrain. So we're gonna be doing a right at Bassett, so we're gonna be heading into to Hiddy Woods and picking up some of the nice flat, compacted mining trails. But yeah, so far, super comfy. You knocked me down, swept my feet off the ground, left me on the floor. To resist, got me looking like this, like the one before. Cause I must be strong. Cause this might go on for long. Cause I was wrong, and he's always there for you. Alone. 
So we made it into Tahiti Woods and how wonderful is this place looking with all these purple flowers out. It looks like a fairy tale wonderland, incredible. In fact, I've never seen so many purple flowers in here. Just beautiful, beautiful place to come and run. What I also thought we could do while we're out here on a long run, like we did a similar thing when we took the Mafati Speed 4s out, is we'll answer some of the regularly asked questions on the channel. Uh, with the channel growing, we obviously get a lot of comments, which I love. I love hearing your feedback uh, about what you're up to running wise, but it's so hard to get back to everyone. We're getting hundreds and hundreds of comments a week, uh, like I say, which I really appreciate, and I try and get back to as many as I can, but I think these long runs are perfect opportunity to get back to some of them questions. So the first question that we're going to answer and we've been asked this a lot since our sort of race calendar video is are we going to be going to the Serpent Trail this year? Now if you followed the channel for any period of time you'll know that I love going and running Freedom Racing Serpent Trail. I love the route, I love the atmosphere they've created with the event and I've actually run the 50k three times now and I love it every time I go. So a simple answer is yes, hopefully myself and Liga will be at the Serpent Trail this year. Uh, it's always great to meet up with viewers of the channel. There's always incredible support for the channel at the Serpent Trail. So uh, if you're going, hope training's going well and hopefully we'll see you at the event. Okay, right, so what, seven miles down, we're just heading towards the mining trails through the woods. So uh, I suppose we better get running. That's what we came here to do. out onto the mining trails after being in the woods and question number two get asked this a lot obviously if you follow the channel you know we spend a lot of time out in Chamonix at UTMB week a place we love to go and a race we love to take part in a lot of the questions in today's video are about races because obviously we just uploaded our race calendar video and uh, I've had quite a few people ask do they need to get out to Chamonix nice and early to prepare if they're taking on any of the distances at UTMB. Now, obviously, this is a super personal thing and everybody sort of handles those mountain sort of high altitude races differently. I personally think if you're like me, you live down at sea level in the UK, then the earlier you can get out there, the better. A lot of people forget that Chamonix is at a thousand meters plus. So as soon as you arrive in town, you are breathing pretty thin air, like I said, especially if you live at sea level. So I always think if you can get out there a week before or even longer and get up in the mountains, get the body acclimatized to that altitude, it's always going to stand you in good stead when it comes to race day. Like I said, this is obviously a very personal thing. But for me, the first time we ran UTMB, we went out there a couple of days before the race and it was a total disaster. Pulled out halfway, caught my air. The second time, went out there two and a half weeks before, got up in the mountains, did some training, and actually really enjoyed the event. And the body felt great all the way through, and it was just a real successful trip. So I would always say, get out there as early as you can. Obviously, if you can't, whether it's through work commitments, time off, anything like that, then, you know, you just have to make do with what you've got. But if you can, get out there early, get the body and the mind prepared for the big race and get prepared for an incredible experience. But right, we're going to be looping back to the adventure bus soon. Shoe's still running well. He loves this hard, compact trail, that's for sure.
Okay, so we have made it through to Hiddy Woods and we're just cutting across the fields back to the coast path. And I think probably got about two miles to go until we get back to the adventure bus. And bizarrely enough, we are bathed in sunshine again. Totally bizarre weather on today's run. So the third and final question, and I've actually been asked this three times in the last week, bizarrely enough, and it is another race related question. Uh, it is, are we ever gonna be heading up north to take on the Cheviot Goat? Now, I've never run this race, but I know all about it because I've had lots of friends take it on. And I've gotta be quite blunt with this answer. And the answer is, Definitely not. Now, I'm sure it's a spectacular race on an incredible route, but the sound of wading through bogs, self-navigation and horrendous weather conditions, to be honest, sound like my worst nightmare. And anyone that knows me knows that when I take on a race, I need big pointy high-vis arrows and marshals telling me where to go because my navigation is shocking. Funny true story, uh, my second ultra, we went up Exmoor, 40 miler. I'd paired up with this guy running in the last sort of five miles and we'll be in chase by another runner so we we're pushing hard uh, we missed the uh, high vis arrows yes this was a way marked race several times and to the point where we missed the last one to turn left back down to the road uh, we had to run about two miles further than we should have done and we had to cross the finish line the wrong way so that is how bad my navigation is i've got to say one thing though it's not quite as bad as andrew ferguson's from the mud crew because he actually crossed the wrong finish line of the wrong race so the answer is unfortunately no we won't be taking on the cheviot goat but i'm sure we will be heading up a north at some point and taking on some of the other amazing races that they have but let's get back to the adventure bus like i say a couple of miles ago and then we'll We'll give you a full conclusion on how the Moore Trail 3 has performed out here on its long run. Okay, so we made it back and just under 15 miles in the legs and the shoes. So a great run, 14.85 miles to be precise, but I'm gonna get some dry clothes on. And there's a slight change of plan because looking at the battery indicator on the GoPro, I've got about 3% battery left. So we'll see you guys back at the studio. Okay, schoolboy error, I forgot to take my spare GoPro battery with me. And I think that's the first time I've ever done that, but never mind. Uh, I was really happy with how my legs felt out there on today's long run. And the main reason I wanted to test out the New Balance shoe today was because I'm filming this video on a Sunday. Uh, on Friday, I went out for 10 miles on the towns, quite a tough 10 miles, then just over eight miles on the road yesterday. So when I woke up this morning, my legs were feeling a little bit fatigued. So I thought that'd be the perfect time to test out the Fresh Foam X Moor Trail V3s. With the level of bounce and energy return that Fresh Foam X midsole gives you, I thought this would be a really good shoe for those really long training runs or really long races where you're gonna spend a lot of time on tired, fatigued legs. And I think today's run actually proved that because the further the run went, the better my legs felt. And by the end of it, I still felt like I had lots in the tank. And I think a lot of that comes down to this midsole setup. Also, it was quite a bit muddier out there on some sections today than I was expecting, but this Vibram Eco Step outsole handled it all with ease. So I had no loss of grip, no loss of traction on any part of the route. So I really think that the, the Moor Trail V3s are a deeply cushioned shoe that can handle those tricky, wet, muddy conditions here at wintertime in the UK or anywhere else in the world, come to think of it. Uh, really were a joy to run in on today's long run. Again, the only thing I'm not fully convinced by is the amount of stability you get from the midsole and the lack of ground feel. I purposely chose today's route because the majority of it was on hard, compacted, flat trails. And I really think this is where this shoe excels. But there was a couple of times on the coast path as I was heading out to the woods where I picked up some more technical stuff. A few times I had to sort of run in a gully and it was slightly off camber. And it just reminded me how careful you have to tread uh, in this shoe and how unstable it can feel when you pick up more sort of technical uneven ground. I actually think after today's run that a lot of them instabilities are coming from the fact that I can't seem to lock this upper down around my foot shape, especially around my midfoot. 
So when I do pick up them technical sections or those off camber sections, I do tend to sort of slip around in the upper quite a lot. I really noticed it when I was running down a steep hill in the woods there and my foot was sliding forward quite a bit and I was banging up against the end of the toe box. So maybe the instabilities aren't necessarily coming from that midsole, it's coming from the fact that the fit or the width of the shoe isn't quite working right for my foot shape. Obviously that's not really an issue on the flat stuff and this is definitely where this shoe loves to be and I would 100% use them for races like Grand Union Canal, Thames Path 100, Autumn 100 where you're going to be covering long distances but the majority of it is going to be on flat compacted trails or long sections of tarmac because I really think that this Fresh Foam X really helps reduce sort of muscle fatigue through impact and my legs and feet felt great after today's long run. However, I still wouldn't choose to use it on any long races where there's even slightly technical trails to deal with because I just don't feel fully confident underfoot with that loss of connection. So it does kind of limit the uses for me when it comes to the more trail V3s. So there you have it, that is our long run test on the highly cushioned, super bouncy trail running shoe from New Balance. Really hope you enjoyed it, really hope you found it helpful and I hope we managed to answer some of your questions on the way round. We're super busy at the moment behind the scenes getting ready for our Lake Como trip and we are getting very excited and we can't wait to bring you some traveling content and some mountain running content from one of the most beautiful places in the world. But for now guys, thanks for watching, it's really appreciated. We'll be back on the channel very soon and as always stay safe and keep on running.